In linguistics, cognates are words that have a common etymological origin. A cognate etymon need not be inherited directly from a proto-language, the etymon can be borrowed from some other language, in which evolution produces cognate forms. For example, the English word dish and the German word tisch table", are cognates because they both come from Latin discus, which relates to their flat surfaces. Cognates may have evolved similar, different or even opposite meanings, but in most cases there are some similar letters in the word. Some words sound similar, but don't come from the same root, these are called false cognates. In etymology, the cognate category excludes doublets and loanwords. The word cognate derives from the Latin noun cognatus, which means, "...blood relative". Characteristics Cognates do not need to have the same meaning, which may have changed as the language is developed separately. For example English starve and Dutch sterven or German sterben to die", all derive from the same Proto-Germanic root, asterisk sterbana die". Discus is from Greek discos from the verb dikein, to throw". A later and separate English reflex of discus, probably through medieval Latin desca, is desk, c -o -e -d -s -v, desk". Cognates also do not need to have similar forms, English father, French per, and Armenian hair, hair all descend directly from Proto-Indo-European asterisk ph ter. <laughs> Across languages Examples of cognates in Indo-European languages are the words night English, nui French, noche Spanish, noct German, noct Dutch, nag Afrikaans, nicht Scots, nat Swedish, Norwegian, nat Danish, nat Faroese, not Icelandic, noc Czech, Slovak, Polish, knock knock Russian, knock knock Macedonian, nos nosht Bulgarian, nick nich Ukrainian, knock 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 Belarusian, knock Slovene, knock Bosnian, Serbian, Croatian, nix nix Ancient Greek, nichta nichta in modern Greek, nox, nocta, Latin, nact, Sanskrit, nate, Albanian, nose, Welsh, nush, Asturian, noit, Portuguese and Galician, not, Italian, nit, Catalan, nuke, nuit, Occitan, nopta, Romanian, nact, Latvian, noctis, Lithuanian, and notch, Colonian, all meaning, night, and being derived from the Proto Indo European asterisk nocts, night. Another Indo-European example is star, English, str, Sanskrit, Tara, Hindustani and Bengali, Tora, Assamese, Aster, Aetwal, French, Aster, Aster, Greek or Asteri, Astro, Asteri, Astro in modern Greek, Astro, Stella, Italian, Aster, Latin, Ste, Romanian and Venetian, Sterno, Gothic, Astgh, Armenian, Stern, German, Stir, Dutch and Afrikaans, Stan, Colonian, Starn, Scots, Sterna, Norwegian and Danish, Saint Jarna, Icelandic. Saint Jarna, Swedish, Saint Jorna, Faroese, Seter, Persian, Store, Pashto, Seren, Welsh, Steren, Cornish, Estel, Catalan, Estella, Occitan, Estrella and Astro Spanish, Estrella, Asturian and Leonese, Estrella and Astro, Portuguese and Galician, and Asteri or Ster, Kurdish, from the Proto Indo European asterisk H Ster. Star". The Arabic Slam Salam, the Hebrew Slum Shalom, the Assyrian Neo Aramaic Shlama, and the Amharic Salam. Peace are also cognates derived from the Proto-Semitic asterisk salam. Peace. Cognates may often be less easily recognized than the above examples, and authorities sometimes differ in their interpretations of the evidence. The English word milk is clearly a cognate of German milch, Dutch melk, Russian maloko, maloko, and Bosnian, Serbian, Croatian, Slovenian maleko, also Montenegrin malieko. On the other hand, French lait, Catalan llet, Italian latte, Romanian lapta, Spanish leche and leet, Portuguese and Galician, all meaning milk, are less obvious cognates of ancient Greek galactose galactos, genitive singular of gala gala, milk, a relationship that is more evidently seen through the intermediate Latin lac milk as well as the English word lactic and other terms borrowed from Latin. All of them come from Proto-Indo-European h melk milk. Some cognates are semantic opposites. For instance, while the Hebrew word huf chutzpah means impudence, its classical Arabic cognate hasaft hasafa means sound judgment. Topic within the same language cognates within a single language, or doublets, may have meanings that are slightly or even totally different. For example, English ward and guard to perceive, watch out for are cognates, as are shirt garment on top and skirt garment on bottom to cut. 
In some cases, including this one, one cognate skirt has an ultimate source in another language related to English, but the other one shirt is native. That happened with many loanwords, such as skirt in this example, which was borrowed from Old Norse during the Danelaw. Sometimes both doublets come from other languages, often the same one but at different times. For example, the word chief meaning the leader of any group comes from the Middle French chef head, and its modern pronunciation preserves the Middle French consonant sound. The word chef the leader of the cooks was borrowed from the same source centuries later, but by then, the consonant had changed to a shish sound in French. Such word sets can also be called etymological twins, and they may come in groups of higher numbers, as with, for example, the words wain native, wagon, wagon Dutch, and vehicle Latin in English. A word may also enter another language, develop a new form or meaning there, and be reborrowed into the original language, that is called reborrowing. For example, the Greek word kinema, kinema movement became French cinema compare American English movie and then later returned to Greece as cinema, cinema the art of film, movie theater. In Greek, kinema, kinema movement and cinema, cinema, filmmaking, cinema are now doublets, a less obvious English language doublet pair is grammar and glamour. Topic false cognates False cognates are words that people commonly believe are related have a common origin, but that linguistic examination reveals are unrelated. For example, on the basis of superficial similarities, the Latin verb haber and German haben, both meaning to have, appear to be cognates. However, because the words evolved from different roots, in this case, different Proto-Indo-European roots, they cannot be cognate see for example Grimm's law. German haben, like English have, comes from pi asterisk khpa to grasp, and its real cognate in Latin is caper, to seize, grasp, capture. Latin haber, on the other hand, is from pi asterisk g ab, to give, to receive, and hence cognate with English give and German jeben. Likewise, English much and Spanish mucho look similar and have a similar meaning but are not cognates, as they evolved from different roots, much from Proto Germanic asterisk Mikolaus. See also cognate object figura etymologica historical linguistics Indo European vocabulary interlingual homograph list of German cognates with English in Wiktionary lists of words having different meanings in American and British English topic references topic further reading Ruben Moran 2011 Cognate Linguistics Kindle edition Amazon topic external links cognates.org spanishcognates.org